say, bro, I've had something on my mind that uh, I'd like to get off my chest and uh, also get your thoughts on. Um, I noticed, man, that there is, and it's not like something new, but there is just like a lot of hate towards Dana White. And I already know what's going to happen. I know that if this catches any sort of type of fire in the MMA community, motherfuckers going to start getting out of pocket, calling me a glazer and all kinds of weird shit, you know. But I don't give a fuck, man. I'm just tell it how it is. Um, I just don't think it's warranted. I think all the hate that Dana White gets, man, from the media and from just like uh, MMA community personalities and just like, you know, maybe maybe it's not just like the overall fan base, but I just maybe it's just the the realms that I am I'm, I find myself in or the media I consume uh in the MMA space that people just hate on uh Dana White and I just feel like, bro, like I don't think you know, we don't, we wouldn't have or know what we know UFC today as without him. You know, of course there's investors, you know, you got the Fertitas and then, you know, now you got the new business partners with, uh, you know, Hunter Campbell and uh, Sean Shelby and shit like that. And fucking Mick Maynard and, you know, the, the whole TKO fucking umbrella and shit like that. But um, really, at, at the end of the day, when this was fucking considered cockfighting, you know, human cockfighting to politicians and fucking, um, you know, the, the, pe yeah, people thought <laughs> that... uh. <laughs> people thought that this was just like the lowest form of fucking combat and shit like that dana white like brought that shit out the mud and um i don't know uh i just feel like these days just because i feel like people don't like the way you know he runs shit or um they don't like, you know, the way he's got this unapologetic, uh, go fuck yourself kind of attitude. You know, I just feel like people just, just because they don't like it, they want to like criticize shit when it's like, bro, like your, your job is basically hinged on this shit that he built or resurrected. Um, and, uh, like like, I'd like to see you fucking, you know, bring something back from the dead and make it worth billions of dollars in an international global phenomenon, you know, and now gaining legitimacy as like one of the top major sports amongst, you know, the NBAs and NFLs and MLBs of the world, you know, like, I don't know, like, I just, it just, it's just weird to me. I don't know. I just... It's weird that that folks would have so much hate towards this dude, you know, outside of like, you know, the fighters, I understand, you know, the fighters uh, have their um, disagreements they have their with, with them and, like, and like, I, I get, I get exactly what you're saying. Like, I can agree with like most of it. You know what I mean? Like the fact that like he did, he literally got this, this company out of the mud. Um, when he got the company, as far as I understand it, he literally got a logo, the name, and, like, maybe an office building. But, like, not much more than that. Um, like, there was, like, they had sold off the, uh, the the video game rights. They had sold off, like, the DVD rights. And, like, also all the archives and, uh, of what had already happened previously to him getting it. Um, so the fact that he was able to make it into something that we get to watch literally once a week because it wasn't that before it was literally once a month and it was also something that you had to buy on video or vhs or you know what i mean because we're that old you know what i mean we're dating ourselves um yeah you had to go to blockbuster you had to go to blockbuster to find like ufc fights like the fight happened literally like three or four months prior to when you actually were watching it and like it was brand new to you um, there was no pay-per-view, there was no, none of that, um, the fact that he's made it into what it is, and, like, I get to watch MMA once a week is amazing, um, <clears throat> so I respect that, I think, uh, there's definitely a reason that he gets hate, 
Um, and I think there's, I think there's also, it's uh, not relevant. I don't want to say necessarily relevant, but like a, it makes sense, right? Um, the fighters need to be paid more. It's a billion dollar company. You know what I mean? And yeah. these are the people that are um, making it a billion dollar company. You yeah. know what I mean? So uh, <coughs> I agree with that. Like, yeah, so definitely the, fighter pay is kind of wild. I mean, it is insanely granted, wild. It sounds like a scenario also where you, you know, you kind of negotiate what you negotiate. And if you sell yourself at a certain price, you can't be surprised if that's what they continue to try and fucking buy you for. You know? Sure. Um but again, I I feel like these men are um and women are putting their lives on the line um, for sure. for every sure. day. Like, obviously, like people aren't dying every day or anything like that, but there's a possibility. Yeah. Um, so I don't believe walking into the UFC or, 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 or you know what I mean, only having a couple fights under your belt, that 10 grand um, to show up is, is enough. Because um, there's amazing amounts of training that goes into, like, being a UFC fighter. Um with coaches and, and training staff and possibly dietitians and um, just what it takes to get back and forth the gym, all the things that are, are, are intertwined with that. Um, so that ne- definitely needs to be raised up, um, in my opinion. You know, now don't get me wrong, like, there's been times where literally, like, there's been stretches where, like, I've had to, like, cut off press conferences and, you know, interviews and, you know, there's just been things or the way that he talks about certain fighters and kind of like, you know, the the, the relationship he has with certain fighters is just kind of uh, very, um, you know, uh, uh, cutthroat at times. And that shit can bother me. But I also respect the genuineness of it, right? Like, you're, you know what I mean? He's being 100 with whatever he says. Like, this is how he truly feels. Um, And so, like, I I definitely dig on that. Yeah, I just, I don't know. Like I said, y'all can say what you want about me. And, you know, I'm sure there's a bunch of fucking uh, nerds and motherfuckers out there who got plenty of fact checking and, and... you know, opinions and reasons why uh, they don't agree with what I'm saying. But at the end of the day, just remember fucking why this shit is here. Whether you like the motherfucker or not. I mean, in general, in life, like, if you don't fucking like the way somebody runs their business, then go fucking uh, start your own or shut the fuck up. I mean, to be totally honest, like, it's kind of what it is. Like, you don't like the way... A uh, motherfucker runs a uh, Seven Eleven around the block from you. Then you go to the one that you do like, or you find an entirely different convenience store altogether. But to try and like act like you're gonna make a motherfucker, you know, change their practices, like psh, they ain't get, they ain't come by billions of dollars fucking by accident. Or by having, like, extremely bad practice. Or by listening to fucking weirdos on the fucking internet. Yeah, motherfuckers who get on a screen to talk about what they would do. I agree with you. Uh, Uh, Shouts out Dana White. Yeah, shout out Dana White. Uh, Let us know your thoughts.